Welcome. This is Hometown USA, and I'm Lloyd Wagner, your hometown host. Today we have a very special show and a very special guest, an Alabama native son who went west and found that the secret to success is in the taste of the American public. After making lots of movies, lots of money, he came home to Anniston, Alabama, Northeast Alabama, to spend the fruits of his labor. After this short break, we'll meet our guest. It's a jungle out there. You may search far and wide to find more effective and efficient avenues to spend your advertising dollar. There are many choices, many obstacles, and sometimes it's difficult deciding which direction is best for your business. Without a professional guide, some folks don't make it. Before you step into the advertising jungle, talk to a professional. Uh, uh, something unusual. Something totally different. Yes, Miss Fremont. I do cater to unusual affairs. What do you consider to be unusual? Oh, I don't know. What do you recommend? Have you ever had an Egyptian feast? Why, that would be fine. Welcome back to hometown. And now to meet our special guest for today, Mr. David F. Friedman, film producer, actor, screenwriter, a, a man who has come back home and written his autobiography, A Youth in Babylon. Dave, welcome to Hometown USA. <laughs> Thanks, Lloyd. You it's know, very nice to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, I live uh, 25 miles down the road, but it's always good to come up to the neighboring town of Gadsden, and it's a real delight to be here with you this morning. Dave hey, is a mighty fancy looking oh, book here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, this the is. A Youth in Babylon Confessions of a Trash Film King, <laughs> David F. Friedman. Is that you? That's me. You know, You've got a worldwide reputation. <laughs> well, Tell us about this. You know, the, I've always said one thing. You know, I started in this business as a press agent. I worked for Paramount for many, many years as a theatrical press agent. <clears throat> and I traveled with Bob Hope and Jane Russell, Charlton Heston, Grace Kelly. And I have met the great, the near great, and the end great. And uh, <laughs> it's been a, been, a, been a great, great life. But I learned one thing about press agentry. Uh, and particularly when, it, when I went into business for myself, making myself known. And I always said to newspaper people, radio commentators, what have you, say something good, say something bad, just say something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it seems to work. And uh, I don't mind the, uh, the labels that are put on you. Uh, I've always cautioned anyone, having been a press agent, believe uh, nothing of what you hear and about half of what you read anyway. I think Miss Kitty Kelly right now <laughs> is proving that. <laughs> with their book about Mrs. Reagan. <laughs> but they're selling because... But they're selling, right. Bad. And uh, this book is just going into its second printing, and it's uh, been picked up by an English uh, publisher for editions in England and Australia, and uh, in uh, by a Swiss publisher for uh, an edition in the German-speaking countries. So I'm very, very happy, and I have a contract to do uh, volume two. Uh, I guess the one film for which I am most famous, I should say infamous, is a picture called Blood Feast. This was the first of the slasher films, the first of the gore movies, the slice them and dice them, smash them and bash them movie that I made with Herschel Lewis in uh, 1961. Uh, this picture was the forerunner of the all of the pictures that may cause a shudder with some of the ladies out there to think of their sons and daughters going to see them, the Friday the 13th, the Ad Infinitum series, the Nightmare on Elm Street, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Halloween. Blood Feast started all of that. <laughs> and so in that regard, uh, I guess I'm the grandfather of gore, or the, uh, the guru of gruesomeness, or what have you. Uh, it started out, that picture actually started out as a gag. It was gaggable, all right, but uh, it, uh, it, it began a whole genre of film. That
That concludes hometown for today. Bye. Uh -huh.